the circuit one two three had posted a video a while back a couple I think yeah it was yesterday um, about cloud computing in this video he mentions that cloud computing is going to be very reliable. He mentions single server storage, i.e. one place, multiple computers. In other words, all your information is in a single place and is system agnostic. Free support and upgrades because they are on the server side. And Google has invested in cloud computing with the Chrome operating system. And I'd like to add on to that. The Chrome operating system is based on Linux. Google Chrome, the web browser, is based on an open source WebKit platform. And a lot of the internet servers are based on Linux. How else do you think that Google and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter can all remain up for days and days and days? It all has to come from a computer somewhere. Linux has proven to be very stable and thus a lot of people in the web community use it. Also, computer enthusiasts are really into Linux. In fact, Dell has gotten a version of uh, web of uh, Moblin, which is also a uh, web-based operating system. Excuse me. And that is based on Linux. Um, it's a developer edition. Um, so cloud computing is going to be reliable because of Linux. They did, I don't remember where I saw this, but I will try to find it if anybody, if everybody would like me to. They created, or they did a little something, I think it was a PC magazine. I could be wrong, probably am. <laughs> but, um, but then again, I could be right, who knows. Um, anyway, they did... Um, a little something on a, a, a little a hackability test and from le from most hackable to least it went in this order Mac OS 10 Windows and Linux and with Linux they actually said in black and white that they found it impossible to crack the reason is because of the hierarchy I can't even set the date and time on a Linux system I can't make any changes to a Linux system without prior permission of the administrator. The head administrator has to sign off on any changes that are made. In other words, you need to type in your password. Okay, and if you're not the administrator of your system, you need to contact them before you make any changes. And every time you surf Google or YouTube you're watching YouTube, you are using Linux, you just don't realize it. A lot of people, you know, we use Linux every single day. We just don't think about it because we're only thinking about our, our local systems, which in many cases are Windows and Macintosh. Linux is a beautiful platform to build a web-based operating system around because well, let's put it this way. The Palm Pre. Web OS is based on Linux. They were able to have 12 applications running on a mobile device, and the processor didn't even break a sweat. Now, once they got to 13 and above, then it started having issues. But the point is that you can really, you can tax a Linux system without it necessarily feeling the burn. Now obviously this is going to depend on your system, but in many cases you can you can tax the system without it feeling the burn. Now if you have millions and millions of downloads going on at once then yeah you're going to experience some troubles. But um, they can have many people looking at the content on the server or let's say Google for instance, you know, Google has their servers, they are running Linux. That's the only way for them to really be up 24 hours a day and seven days a week without hardly any downtime. It's actually been 
Um, I haven't seen this in action myself because I don't believe in wasting electricity in that form, but I've heard that Linux, um, there have been many reports of a Linux system staying up for days, weeks, months without a single reboot. Seriously. So, when it comes to cloud computing, it's going to be reliable and it's going to be secure because of Linux. Now, hang on a moment. You know, for those of you who are not in the know, Twitter was hacked. Okay? And they were back up and running within the hour. Twitter servers, I don't know that for a fact, but if they are running Linux, I wouldn't be at all surprised. Let me explain. The beautiful part of Linux is that it is open source. In a nutshell, in layman's terms, what that means is everybody can look at the code. This includes security experts. Thanks to everybody around the globe, not just a bunch of people in Redmond or in Cupertino working on the operating system, because millions of people around the globe are working on it, odds are if there is a, pa if there is a breakout, there's a patch for it within 48 hours. Excuse me. Pardon me. So yeah, um, Linux is a very stable operating system. You can go ahead and build um, an operate. You can you can build a web server around it. Many web many offices are building web servers around it because of its stability, because of its rock solid nature, because of the fact that you can keep Linux up for days, weeks, and months without having to ever reboot it. Okay, um, so. Cloud computing is more than more likely than not going to be based on Linux, and this I think is the time for Linux for Linux and Tux the Penguin, which is their mascot for those of you who don't know, to shine. So cloud computing is definitely going to be secure. It's going to be a great experience. Again because of Linux. And, if, and as long as they stay true to the Linux principles of being free and open source, I wouldn't say that you shouldn't worry about getting your system attacked, getting your files attacked, but with Linux you would worry a lot less. Okay? So, that's pretty much it. So cloud computing is going to be going to be driven by Linux because the web is driven by Linux. Comments and questions are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked. And have a nice day.